Okay. Uh, in fact, it's my pleasure to have Salvia and Anwar today to be with us, to share with us about uh, how Anwar uh, from obesity and now you can look at him, he slimmed down so much. In fact, I know Salvia and the family for almost nine years and uh, when I met Anwar in the year 2001, uh, Anwar was in standard one. He had childhood obesity. In all these years, I know that uh, he's, he, is, he, he was overweight. And of course, uh, the mother couldn't do anything much about it because he loves to eat. But um, after some time, uh, we did not meet the family for many years. Yes. For many years. And uh, Salvia told me about the son. He has some health problems in the year 2009 due to obesity problem. So today we like we would like to interview uh, Puan Salvia. How did he get his son to get back to this uh, uh, this normal weight? And what did she do uh, for the son? Okay. Good morning, Puan Salvia. Uh, good morning, Sister J. Yes. Okay. Um, what was the problem in two zero zero nine? Uh, that you have mentioned to me, Anwar was, was not well. What was the health problems? Yeah, because of his uh, obesity, uh, he had uh, food poisoning. Then he started having diarrhea, yes. vomiting for a few days, mm -hmm. then um, slight fever. Um, in between, I tried to give him uh, um, something to give him energy, so the father fed him with glucose yes. on that day when he was admitted. But uh, I realized he had um, chest pain, uh, difficult breathing, and I quickly opened a few capsules of cordy cordycep. Cordycep, this uh, one. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, I feed him. Uh, he still had the pain, but after 15 minutes, he was a bit better. Okay. Yeah. By the way, Salvia, what was his weight when he was having health problems? He was uh, 93 kilo. 93 kilo. <laughs> Okay. And what is the weight today? Uh, 68. 68? Yeah. How much has he lost? Uh, more than 20 over kilos. 20 over kilos within yeah. a year? Uh, in fact, he was only 63 kilos um, just two months ago, but because of Hari Raya festival yeah. and so on, so okay. he gained yeah. weight. Okay, but sorry for the interruption. Yeah. Now okay. he has uh, gone back with his normal healthy, healthy diet. Um, so when he was admitted, um, doctor diagnosed him with um, sh high uh, sugar reading in his urine. Re reading was 14, um, and um, doctor suspected a kidney problem mm -hmm. because his protein was high. Yeah. And I was not worried so much. Mm -hmm. um, there was worry, 50 percent, but 50 percent I knew it was the protein was from IgGM, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that uh, has been told by your good self that uh, the RGGL contains uh, protein, a vegetable protein which can be out from our body within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So uh, of course with uh, God blessing too and uh, the next day doctor say you need to put him on the mission because his protein was uh, totally normal. normal. The next day? The next day and everything was okay but they were surprised uh, how it happened, you know, overnight. overnight. It's a miracle, and they insist of putting him uh, more uh, days in ICU for them to test on him. Mm -hmm. And one doctor comes, another specialist came to him and say maybe he has heart problem. Called to extract the heart problem. That heart, heart was okay, clear, nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Chest was okay, lungs was okay, and they was uh, kind of um, worried because. His obesity, but his um, what you call that immune system, polysaccharide mm -hmm. was high. So I knew that polysaccharide contains in our RGGL. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't, you know, doesn't like something uh, awkward to hear about that. So to me, I know he can be better and healthier uh, with just a good uh, diet and just to maintain our healthy food. 
with uh, DSA product. Okay. Mm -hmm. For how many days was he in the ICU he, he and was, was the blind? He was uh, hospitalized for seven days. Seven days. And doctor insists on putting him to Putrajaya Specialist Hospital because they want to do uh, further checkup. Uh, of course, I refuse because I don't want my son to be a guinea pig in the hospital. Uh, and I have the faith in our product, in the exam, and I insist doctor to release him. Uh, discharge him uh, and I took him back and I um, uh, treat him like uh, how he was treated in the hospital with uh, blood tests, with BP checkup, and even with the um, temperature check and with all the products, uh, especially um, Cordycep, um, what do you call that? Microvaging. Microvaging, RGGL. Yeah? RGGL, I start feeding him too. Capsule of uh, two, two sets, which means two of RG, two of GL, mm -hmm. um, every four hours. Every four hours. Every four hours. Uh, so, total in the day, how many capsules uh, is consumed? Eight. Eight. Eight packs. Eight packs. Eight, eight of RG, uh, eight of GL. Okay. And uh, Michael Veggie, uh, I fit him uh, to skip in between meals because uh, I make sure he has good exercise and hour exercise in the morning and hour exercise in the evening. So in between when he finishes his exercise, I'll feed him with Michael Veggie uh, just to make him, uh, you know, because he loses his energy. So instead of feeding him with something heavy, Michael Veggie was sufficient enough to keep him uh, mm -hmm. good there. Yeah? And uh, what he said, just because of his um, uh, chest problem, because he, when he was admitted, I continue, just, uh, I don't continue for long, just for a month. Uh, when the reading of his, um, reading, uh, the eight weeks, uh, the reading of his sugar, even mm -hmm. after meal, mm -hmm. was 5.8 okay. after meal. Yeah. So I knew that he has recovered. Yes. But, uh, I until today I won't stop this three for him. Yes. RG, GL and Michael Veggie yes. because I knew that they helped him a lot. Yes. And from ninety three he went down to sixty three kilos. That took how long? Uh, it took about eight months. Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. Eight months, eight months. and. Uh, Again, I have to thank God and the exam. Of course, I told Jane, uh, I thank her first because she was the one who gave me motivation to, to take the product and uh, to the founder of the product, Dr. Lim Selji. Okay, Puan Sabia, uh, I was happy to hear that uh, Anwar was discharged from hospital after seven days. So uh, you could do a lot of uh, Test that the hospital could do. What did you do? Well, I took his uh, blood uh, test, um, and then blood his, sugar, uh, blood sugar. Okay. And then his BP. Yes. How? And what was the blood pressure at home? His blood pressure was high uh, in the beginning. In How fact, high in, was it? Uh, it was one third, one three eight, one forty, uh, over ninety. When you no? were yes. in the hospital? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Um, and then uh, we, after continuing with uh, RGGL, where I gave him uh, two uh, sets every four hours. So every four hours, I will be checking his blood sugar level yeah. and his BP. Mm -hmm. And I realized that it went down. It was not uh, in the first uh, seven, eight days, mm -hmm. the result was not uh, down stable. tremendously. Uh, not stable. Uh, not stable. Okay. But I realized that it's the physiological effect of okay. his body so. to, to, to throw up, to wash up okay. all the toxins. Yeah? So the, the blood pressure was high when he was in the hospital. Yes, yes. But after he was discharged from the hospital, what was the blood pressure? Um, well, um, that the reading was good after the two week, after the 14 days yes. it was good going down going down going down okay. and till uh, as i told you uh, i stopped checking on him when i found his um, uh, it was the eight week eh? yes. eight week uh, where his uh, sugar reading was 5.8 after his light meal okay. yeah and uh, i knew that uh, below right. 10 is good, eh? but for a child, by right, he shouldn't be more than seven or eight. Yeah, okay. so his reading was five point eight, and I was very happy. And his BP reading was one two five over seventy. So I knew that that should be 
the perfect, the perfect, the perfect figure, uh, the perfect reading for a healthy boy. So, so it's within normal range. Huh? Mm. So his blood sugar when he was hospitalized, mm. what was the level, sugar level? Sugar level was, was 14. 14, it dropped to 5.8 after yes, eight weeks, after huh? meal, yes. Sabia, I heard that your son was off school for some time. Okay. Uh, may I know what was the reason he was off school? Well, uh, when he was admitted, uh, he was sick and uh, I knew that it's because of his um, diet problem. Yeah, of course because of his obesity. So when he was in school normally, he likes to eat burger, lasagna, yeah, and all uh, junk food that you can consider is junk food, but normally the children will love it. Mm -hmm. So I have no choice, but I just have to stop him and uh, from going to school. Mm -hmm. uh, and lucky enough, he was in a private school. So I told the Ministry of Education that uh, I have to put him at home but I sent him to a private tutor uh, accordingly uh, because I need to take care of his uh, health, uh, especially his diet. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's how I, I, and also his exercise okay. because no matter what, I think exercise and uh, good food works together okay. uh, better. Yeah. So within the eight months, yes. you took care of his diet yes. and with the DSN food supplements? Yes. And that he lost 20 over pounds? Um, almost 30. Almost 30, 30 pounds? Almost 30 pounds. Uh, 30 kilos. 30 kilos? No, okay. not pounds, 30 okay. kilos. 30 kilos, mm -hmm. okay. We are very successful. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, uh, I think he has a very strong, I know he has a very strong determination because um, I told him only he can improve himself yeah. and uh, of course, um, I think the food also helps him, yeah. yeah. Because especially micro veggie, it doesn't make you feel hungry, and uh, at the same time gives you energy. Okay. So even he goes to exercise after an hour, he feels best, much better. Okay. He was not uh, sick. Okay. He was uh, improving day by day until today. Uh, now he, is he an active child now? Uh, he's still an ex active child. He re plays basketball. He oh. play uh, what do you call that? Squash? Not squash. Football. Um, American football. American football. American football. <laughs> See, only the tough one can play American <laughs> football, as you know. Uh, I was worried because he might break his arm or or leg. But uh, thank God. Yeah, yes. I think he has a very good health. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he looks handsome and healthy. Uh, physically wise and health wise, uh, I thank uh, God and Dix and founder as well as Sister Jane who have uh, convinced me to take a um, health product because in my life I never believed in multi level business. <laughs> And therefore, I don't believe in the product, but uh, because it has, he had miracle, a miracle um, effect, effect on, uh, on, your son. On, on our family, yes. uh, especially when Jane is created by God and Dr. Lim was the founder, have done it in a such beautiful way that uh, there's no um, additive, there's no chemical added, it's purely created natural, natural yes. uh, healthy food. Puan Sabia, you mentioned that your son was 93 kg. Yes. But how big was he when he was 93 kg? I couldn't imagine. Well, uh, he was wearing big size uh, jeans, how size of 20. Uh, maybe he can just uh, uh, show... Show your jeans? Yes, show his jeans when he was 93, 93 kilos. kilos. Uh, this is the size he was yes, wearing? Yes, yes. This was the size he was wearing. This is size 40. Ah, 40. 40. 40 big size, eh? 40. Why 40? Size. Oh, size 40. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, now yeah. he's wearing okay. on and try and see how how much he lost. Yes. Why not? Yeah. I know. Can you please? You can try it up. Maybe you can put a basketball inside your tummy. <laughs> Wonderful! You really can put a basketball inside. <laughs> so you lost so a lot of weight. This was the pants that he used to wear when he was ninety-three. Yes, in fact, he always had problem of getting the correct size for him, and he was also upset uh, most of the time when we go shopping for his clothing. Uh, 
but um, now I think he's just like a model keeping <laughs> polished shirts and pants most of the time every time I go for shopping he will be the first one to grab something for him for himself yeah okay thank you thank you okay Paul Sabia now I'd like to explain to you the medicinal principle on uh, the products, how it works on your son. Yeah, okay, okay. thank you. Bye. When a child who is having a obesity, so you will see that there is a lot of problem inside. Number one, the blood is sticky, mm -hmm. a lot of microcirculation is clogged, mm -hmm. and the immune system will be down. So you will see that your child will tend to have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. okay, hypertension. Well, hypertension. And at the same time, uh, a microcirculation blockage, it can lead to a lot of cells and uh, organs imbalance. Mm -hmm. So your son also started to face some diabetes problem. Mm -hmm. You can see that the sugar level was high. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, with, with uh, food poisoning, mm -hmm. his condition can go down to critical level. Mm -hmm. So that showed that he had poor immune system. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in fact he was hospitalized, maybe he had some lung infection and later on if the doctor told you that he had some proteins in the urine, mm -hmm. actually it, it, it could be due to diabetes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you are very wise because you started to put him on the algae and GL mm -hmm. and as you know algae and GL contains a lot of polysaccharide, mm -hmm. it can enhance your child's immune system yes. and, and eventually you will balance back the, your child's uh, cells and organs and systemic functions. Mm -hmm. So therefore you can see that uh, within the eight months, you took your son back to the family and he rested well and they give him a uh, balanced diet and supplement with uh, uh, mycorrhizae yeah. and that's why you can see that he lost uh, a lot of weight and with his exercise and so on. So this mycorrhizae, I would like to explain to you why it works so well uh, for obesity because mycorrhizae contains soluble and non-soluble fiber. Yeah. So when you when you feed your child with mycorrhizae, the insoluble uh, fiber, yeah. it, when you go down to the intestine, especially in the small intestine, mm -hmm. it will act like a gel mm -hmm. that cover the, the inner lining mm -hmm. of the small intestines. Therefore, when he's eating your normal diet, including your cholesterol, yeah. even sugar, mm -hmm. uh, even a lot of uh, fatty food, mm -hmm. it will block off. Mm -hmm. It will block off and then it will not be absorbed into the circulation. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it will go to the big intestine, big intestine and it can be scrubbed away with the insoluble fiber. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So that's why you can see your son, he can, he can lose so many kilos within eight, eight months. months. So it's because you gave him a very good diet, which is uh, uh, rich in fiber, lack of uh, fats, mm -hmm. and uh, reduce your sugar intakes, yeah. and he was very active in the sport. Mm -hmm. So that's why it, it works very well. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, why he can recover from his high blood pressure mm -hmm. and his dentist? Mm -hmm. Because when you lose weight, mm -hmm. when you lose weight, your blood pressure will automatically come down and of course his, uh, his diabetes mm -hmm. as you improve your pancreatic functions yes. and his sugar level yeah. can come down Maybe to normal. normal. Yeah. Yes, that is the, uh, the medicinal principle about the whole uh, range of the products. Mm -hmm.